South Korea will not accept Washington's demand to shoulder defense costs that occur outside of the peninsula. Seoul's chief negotiator on the matter reiterated the framework of their deal must be maintained. His comments came a day after his American counterpart explained its stance to the local press. Kim Min-ji has the latest. South Korea's chief negotiator for defense cost-sharing says Seoul will not accept U.S. demands to pay for expenses incurred outside of the Korean peninsula. Speaking to reporters on Thursday, Chung Eun-bo said that would go beyond the framework of the cost-sharing deal between Seoul and Washington. We made it clear that South Korea cannot share the costs of American troops stationed abroad or matters related to readiness. We are firm on our stance that the framework of our cost-sharing deal in place for 28 years must be maintained. Our views on the matter are different. Chiang's remarks come a day after his U.S. counterpart James DeHart said in an interview with South Korean press that it would be reasonable for Seoul to share the cost of military operations even off the peninsula if it's related to the country's defense and readiness. Since 1991, Seoul has shouldered partial costs to pay for South Korean civilians employed by U.S. forces Korea, the construction of military facilities and logistical support. Chiang said the negotiations have also been focused on Seoul's contribution to the alliance, likely in response to Hart's remarks that buying U.S. weapons would be an important consideration in their talks. Along with defense cost sharing, we are also discussing contributions to the alliance. In any event, we will explain our existing contribution. The South Korean official declined to comment when asked about the price tag, saying that the two sides are in the middle of negotiations. On Wednesday, DeHart said there has been compromises and the figure has been adjusted from Washington's initial proposal, brushing off reports that the U.S. had demanded South Korea increase its payment fivefold to $5 billion. Seoul and Washington have agreed to continue their negotiations in the new year after their latest round of talks this week came to a close with no deal. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.